Hello everyone and welcome back to another GFX Comet tutorial. In this tutorial we are going to be recreating this shop UI. This UI was made by at real Ted Davis on Twitter. But uh yeah. So to start off, pick this white colour with your eyedropper tool, then make a new layer and get your rounded rectangle. Um I'm going to keep the corner size on 40, see how that looks. Okay, yeah. It looks pretty good. Just make it the same size as the original. Alright, then hit Ctrl J. Go into this bottom one. Right click, blending options. Then go to color overlay and pick this gray color. And get this one. Duplicate it again. Go below this. And just move it down. Alright. Now just merge all of these. And right click, rasterize layer. Wait, hold on. Okay, no. Undo that. Make sure that you rasterize all of these. Then just merge them. Okay. Now we are going to make this um, box. To make a new layer, go into your rounded rectangle tool. I'm going to set it to like 20 this time and make the rounded rectangle. Just going to move this all along. Follow the gradient and right click blending options, gradient overlay, and pick the colors so the bottom color and the top color. There we go. Now right click, rasterize layer style, then right click, blending options, inner shadow, um, oh wait, I did that in the wrong box, right click, blending options, inner shadow, turn the choke all the way up, um, set the angle to negative 90, pick the color, and the size down. All right. Now right click, rasterize layer style, control J, go into the bottom one, right click, blending options, color overlay, pick this purple color, and just drag it down. Okay, now just merge these. Scale is up. Then put our text. So pick this gray color and go into your text tool. Pick your font. I'm going to go with Bimbo, seeing as that's the font used in the UI. Um, just need this to load. Dimbo. Alright. Then make the text. So trails. And control T. Move it to um, here. Alright. Now hit control J. Move this along. Control T. Um, then select this image adjustments U flash saturation and adjust it to be a, a yellow color change the text so what does that say items All right Move it along. Now we're going to do this one for boosts. So Control J, Control T, 
move this along. Image adjustment, hue flash saturation. And just adjust this. Okay. Change the text to say boosts. Now control J, control T, move this down here. <coughs> then image adjustments, use life saturation. Make this one like blue. Just gonna say coins, alright. Just make our coins text. E, move it along. Let's see, that's what we've got so far. Now control J, control T. In the last box, donate. So pick this. Image, adjustment, use flash saturation. Make it um, green. And change the text to donate. done with this UI. There's no X button on this so we're going to add an X button. So I'm going to pick this colour and just trace the shape. Okay. Now control J comes to this bottom one. Right click blending options. Colour overlay. Pick this dark red colour, control T, move it down, and um, pasteurise low styles, merge them. Then make a new layer, white colour, and put our shop text. Then right click, blending options, stroke, and pick the colour. Control T, scale it up. Alright, so we are almost done with this UI. As you can see, these parts aren't joined up, so we're going to fix that. Make a new layer. Pick this dark red color. Go below it. Get your pen tool. And just join them up. Okay, so we fixed that. Now we are going to make our X button. So make a new layer. Pick a red color. Go into your ellipse tool and make an ellipse. Right click, blending options, gradient overlay. Just gonna do basics, pick this one, just this. Then right click, rasterize layer style, right click, blending options. In a shadow, pick a white color, some transparency, make sure the angle is on negative 90, then right click, rasterize layer right style, control J, go into this bottom one, control T, move it down, right click, blending options, color overlay, and pick a dark red color. Merge these, make a new layer, pick a white colour for the text, put the X on 
All right. Then right click blending options. Stroke. Pick this dark red color. And uh, yeah, that's all for this tutorial. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to see more tutorials like this one, subscribe to GFX Comet. Follow my Twitter at Soaring Key. But uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed the video.